Good morning and welcome. Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group and our toll-free number 800 951 The website at allamericangold.com and welcome to Friday. And uh, it was a short week. You know, we had Memorial Day on, on Monday. Uh, it's just flown by and, and today uh, another uh, well, shoot, every day. It's just wild out there. Crude oil uh, now a hundred and nineteen dollars and rising. Unleaded gas. Uh, this is wholesale prices had, has hit another all time high. Uh, it's been as high as uh, almost four dollars and thirty cents. Uh, 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 that's the inner day high right now, just below uh, four twenty three. On the wholesale side of things, so uh, gas prices are going to continue. Of course, as you know, I, we, if you've been listening to me at all, I've been warning you about this uh, well well ahead of time. Uh, I had dinner last night with uh, a couple of our friends. Uh, one of them is a CEO for several uh, what, what I would call mid-sized businesses. Uh, the, these are uh, nationwide companies, and, and the other one uh, is a, a the number two guy at a major golf uh, manufacturer, for lack of a better term. I, I won't give you the names, but but uh, very very high ups, and, and they had some interesting things to 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 say. You know, first thing they wanted to know, they they were asking. Where's energy going? And, and I so I told them, and they both kind of nodded their head as like, man, I didn't want to hear you say that, but yeah, that's that's kind of what we're planning for. Both of them said this about their businesses. That, hey, for the last several years, you know, business, you know, they were using their hand saying, hey, our business was going straight up. You know, it was just... You know, year over year sales up, month over month up, everything's up. And, and, and both of them said, and all of a sudden, business is now flat. And, and we're worried it's starting to trend down. And uh, the one guy who I said is the CEO for a couple of different companies, very talented man, said, all of a sudden, he goes, just, just today alone, I had six different conference calls board of directors wanting to know what's going on because you know uh the 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 straight up thing had stopped jason and they're like you know they're like hey listen the fact that we're you know flattened that's better than what most of the other guys out there are doing but that's the kind of market all of a sudden jason these ceos are starting to pay attention yeah, I, I was looking at some of that same information myself, Joe. I was uh, scope, scoping around the videos, and uh, yeah, it's uh, so suddenly CEOs all across the the country are <laughs> kind of uh, they're, they're they're shivering, right, Joe? They're shivering and worried, right? Yeah, well, Elon Musk. So today we had jobs numbers out today. It was a really good number. I mean, it was a number I expected, uh, and and the reason you know I have I had a son graduate from college, so I knew about all of his buddies. Uh, my other son has gotten himself, a, he's got a summer job, his buddy's got summer job. There was uh, hiring that most of this stuff was done in April into May. Now, granted, it was still the lowest jobs number we've had in, in well over a year, but it was still okay. I think some people were thinking it was going to be worse. Uh, that number's coming next month. Uh, but Elon Musk said Tesla is going to cut 10% of its staff. Uh, Tesla employs about 100,000 people. Uh, he said here in the U.S., 10% reduction in staff, say that uh, the, their, their hiring has paused worldwide. They need to reduce headcount. Once again, talking about recession, Elon Musk saying, hey, everyone at Tesla is required to spend a minimum 40 hours at the office per week. If you don't show up, we'll have assumed that you have resigned. 
a recession serve as a vital economic cleansing function? Uh, and, of course, Elon Musk is saying a lot of companies are getting ready to go under, Jason. Yeah, I, 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 as, the, as 2022 goes on, Joe, I don't, you know, we talk about small businesses are going to be completely crashed and, and, and falling away, just like we talk about how many banks there are and how they – you know, what is it? You said every week how many banks go away or every month? And Yeah, there's eight. On, on average, this year, this is 2022, we're losing eight banks a month. Uh, the, the, the bank count now, just over 4,100 banks left. Uh, and that number is, is rapidly decreasing. And, of course, I think by the end of it, Jason, there may only be 40 banks by the time it's all said and done. Yeah, I mean, we we don't know exactly what the end situation will be uh, with this this great reset, but I, I think Joe, I think your uh, your prediction is very close to what could actually happen. I mean, I mean, really, I mean, in a, in a really bad situation, it could just be the Fed, right? <laughs> At some point, they could say, "Hey, you have a you have digital your 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 uh, digital dollar card, and that's it. There, there is no banks, you know. That that, that could be the end." But uh, I think, well, I think for a lot of people, this is just my opinion. For people that don't have a lot of money, let's say under ten grand, the Fed may be the only bank. That may be the only place for for those people. Uh, it's going to be very very interesting right now. And just to let you know what's happening, banks are scrambling to get big enough to survive the digital currency. Uh, and, and unfortunately, most of these banks aren't going to get there, and and people are going to get wiped out. Patriot Radio News Hour. We got a silver special as promised. We're going to talk about that next. 800-951-0592. We've got a really unique opportunity uh, in, in, the, in silver today. This is, uh, this is some silver that, that came uh, from, from a customer, long, 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 long time customer. Uh, you don't see this very often anymore. Uh, we, we've got a total of four cases of silver. Three of the cases are sealed. We are not going to break the seal. So you have to, uh, on those three cases, you're going to have to buy the entire case. And then we have one case that is unsealed. But Jason, the coins—you've checked them out. They're they're in really good shape. They're all really nice. All you know, just just, just like you'd like uh, to see your rolls of un uncirculated uh, silver eagles. These are all uh, white and crisp, nice and shiny. So let, let's start with the one unsealed case. All of them are 1987. So that would be the second year. Of minted, so uh, remember the United States they they confiscated gold in 1933. Uh, the U.S. Mint uh, stopped minting gold then. Silver they went a little longer. Silver they they kept silver in the dimes, quarters, and half dollars till 1964 through 1964. In 1965 they took the silver out of the dimes and out of the quarters. They kept them in the half dollars, but they lowered it to 40% silver. And then by 1970, they stopped having silver uh, in uh, the, the half dollars completely. And then in 1986, that's when our government started minting gold, uh, gold eagles and silver eagles. So really, the, the, the last time... Uh, the United States mint, minted a dollar silver coin. Would have been the Morgan, or I'm sorry, the Peace Dollar. Uh, what, 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 what was that? What last year minted? I think it was what 1935. That's right. Yep. So you went from 1935. So 1986 was year one. 87 was year two. I went online. I looked everywhere for just. One, you know, a roll, a coin, what have you. 1987's the cheapest I found. $45.77 to $47.21. We've got 25 rolls of 1987. 
You can buy one roll, five rolls, all the rolls. They're $720 a roll. That's $36 a coin. Essentially, we're like, hey, listen, we're going to price it at $10 below the cheapest I could find. On the three sealed cases, one of them is a 1992. Two of them are 1993s. They're $18,000 a case. We will not break them open. Again, I went to find the cheapest. By the way, that's $36 for those of you that, uh, like me, went to public school and need a calculator. That works out to 36 bucks. The cheapest I could find was a night in 1992s. And these weren't sealed. Was... $43 in change to $44 in change. The 1993s, $44 in change everywhere. That was the lowest we could find. So we're, we're so far below anybody in the marketplace. Here's the neat thing about these sealed cases from the 90s. They used to seal them when the Mint made them. They sealed them with wire and this pewter seal that they stamped the date onto it. Uh, then, then of course, that got too expensive. So now they use that those adhesive straps in a sticker, Jason. Today, but back in the day, it, it, it was kind of uh, really interesting looking. That's exactly right. Yeah, and uh, you know these, it's, it's, this is a bullion coin meant for uh, stacking silver. But since this is a, a, a program that's been going since the '80s. As time has gone on, these these coins get jostled around. The, the cases get broken open, and uh, over time, even though there was millions of these coins out there, they're slowly but surely becoming more scarce in in, in a nice uh, condition, like an, an unopened roll, or a, in this case, an unopened case. And so these uh, the, these are these they're getting harder and harder to get, and, and with silver already being underpriced and uh, at a high premium, to get a nicer coin that uh, a sealed case, it's, it's just great and. The 87s, just just for those real experts uh, of uh, uh, silver eagles, the, the the 1986, 1987, they 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 started 87 with the uh, the orange cap. You know, we all know the green cap rolls. The 86s and 87s were were orange capped. They had, they had caps on both sides, but then later in 87 they had green. That's when they started the green tubes. These 87s are the green tubed ones, and really probably the better coins, anyways. Uh, when they start, when they went to the green tubes. So, so Joe, I was looking just for independent uh, sellers on eBay. Uh, you can't get a roll of eighty sevens for less than eight hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, they're they're just uh, on eBay even higher than that. Nobody, I could not find a single dealer anywhere that had sealed cases of the ninety twos or the ninety threes. Uh, and, and you just to Jason, well, you just don't get them anymore over time they break them open they they put them in the sets there there's just not a lot out there just to give you an idea in 1992 they only minted 5.5 million ounces i mean uh that that right now that that's like a january today january mintages usually are about five million four or five million ounces uh the u.s mint uh, they're only making about 30 million. They should make more, but they won't. But think about uh, that was it. That that was all there there was. Same thing. 1993. Same thing. Five million ounces. So they really didn't mint very many of these, and and to find them uh, in these sealed cases, uh, that is a unique unique thing. Uh, 800 951 zero five nine two by the way the 87s that's cheaper than you're gonna find pretty much a silver eagle anywhere uh the, at 720 a roll and then the three sealed cases one 1992 two 1993s they're at $18,000 a piece at 800 951 zero five nine two and and once again uh we we when I when we when we do anything where we say this is a silver spectacular or it's the lead pipe lock of the week, that's when we know we're so far below 
what the market is for these coins. It's a great opportunity. I know, hey, $18,000, that's a lot of money. Uh, but when you think about everybody else out there is, is, you know, at like $44, $45, you know, at 44 bucks, you're looking at, uh, 22,000. So we're $4,000 below where, where anybody else was. And, and, and the difference is our cases are sealed. Those ones are just loose, Jason. Yeah, and just earlier this year, uh, before uh, silver and gold came down a little bit, we were selling a case of silver eagles. You know, they were eight hundred bucks a roll or more. So we were we were twenty grand or more uh, for a case of silver eagles, just any case. You know, just just getting twenty five rolls in the in the monster box. So uh, not only are you are you going to buy on the dip, you're also going to buy cases that are a little more valuable than just the you know, right, right now. Just want I know everyone loves. We got two lines open. Uh, depending, I know a lot of people are podcasting. I don't know where they're going to be. Just call and check. If we have some, we'll obviously offer them to you. Uh, but uh, like I said, you just we we essentially got three cases at eighteen thousand, and then twenty five rolls at, at seven twenty a roll. So there, it's really not, not a lot at eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. So we had jobs out today, three ninety from the government. Uh, people were, you know, everyone's bracing. When's that next leg down? That's going to be next month, by the way, just so everyone knows. Next month we're going to see uh, that number, I think. Uh, I, I don't think negative, but but it's going to be substantially below where we're at. Uh, then Elon Musk, though, made the headlines of the day today saying that at Tesla they're going to lay off 10% of their workforce and also said any employee who doesn't want to show up for uh, the office, and he it, and here was the thing, you got to do the line in the sand. 40 hours, that means, hey, you're here every day. And if you don't want to do that, we'll assume that you've resigned. Uh, and and, and kind of letting people know, listen, things are going to get, get tough here, uh, and I only want the people that are tough to be with us. Uh, Hormel Foods, CEO. This one, man, just sucks. Saying that, we got a problem. Uh, the amount of birds being uh, slaughtered due to the bird flu outbreak. They're saying expect to see shortages of Jenny O brands uh, in stores as early as mid July. Saying especially the Jenny O uh, turkey brands, Jason. Uh, just saying that their supply chains have completely broken down. And that they're not going to be able to uh, have product on the shelves. It sounds like Thanksgiving is going to be really expensive this year. That's what, it says, what it sounds like to me. I didn't even think about it. Thanksgiving is like my favorite holiday, too, because it's just all about food. Uh, but, but again, it's it just not great news. Yesterday, I gave you car sales. Remember, I said, you know, Honda down 50% and Nissan down 60%. They're now saying cars, new car sales are now in recession territory, saying that uh, car sales annualized now below 13 million. So we're down about 5 million units on car sales. Uh, and Jason, it's just, it's, it's starting to pile up. Uh, Pakistan, and we've been talking about these emerging markets a little bit. Uh, you know, we talked, we, we, Sri Lanka, uh, what was the first to enter into default. Bloomberg is reporting that in the city of Karachi, that's the big city in Pakistan, that as many as 40,000 factories are being forced to shut down because high power costs is making operations impossible. And I think we're going to see this really start to, to cascade through a lot of countries. And all of a sudden, we're going to find out, hey, one of those 40,000 factories makes this one component that all of a sudden now uh, we're not going to be able to get whatever it may be, right? We're not going to be able to complete a car. We're not going to be able to finish a dishwasher. Or we're not going to be able to have a, a sinks installed. This is how this global supply chain is breaking down. You know, it was just a couple of months ago that, and this is before it's, it's you know getting as bad as it is now, but I think it was late last year. Uh, Turkey, Turkey was shutting down power in their industrial area for four days because they were they needed to rebalance the supply 
power issues that they were having in their country. You know, these are the things that, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's Turkey, right? It's Turkey, but, you know, um, you know that's, you know, it's just, just in the Middle East region of the world. They're not getting power in the, in the way that they need it, Joe. It's, it's, uh, they have to get it somewhere, and it just affects the next country, the next country, and the next country. Let's, let's face it, the Russian war with Ukraine, that's where a lot of this got really worse uh, in, in, uh, as far as power, right, Joe? Yeah, and this is going to be, you know, we're going to have to watch this. Remember fertilizer costs. Why did fertilizer get so expensive? Because power to, to make the fertilizer. To, the main ingredients in, in fertilizer, unfortunately, oil and natural gas, right? You need the oil and then you need the power uh, to do it. And now, you know, when we're, we're starting to talk about countries that are saying, hey, you know what, power's gotten so expensive. It no longer makes sense to make the product. Think, think about what we're talking about here, and we're nowhere close to the top. I, I'm talking about today, oil's at 120. Problem is, J.P. Morgan saying oil's going to be 175. 800-951-0592. The 87s are going quick. We still have the three sealed cases. We'll be right back after the break. 800-951-0592. Uh, 1987 Silver Eagle Rolls and Jason's nice, crisp, uh, 720 a roll. Uh, that is, <laughs> it's crazy to think about. That's $10 an ounce less than anybody in the country on these 1987s. Uh, we, we, we got about 15 rolls of those left. And then the real, the real, I think the big ones here, the three sealed cases, the 1992 sealed case, and then the two 1993 sealed cases, uh, they're both at $18,000. I could find nobody in the country that had these. Uh, if they had some loose silver eagles in those years, you're looking at about 40, over $44, almost $45 uh, an ounce there. Uh, so at 18,000, that's at 36,000, well, well over $4,000 under anybody else. So the, the 92s and the 93s, we're not going to break these cases open because they're too valuable. And, and Jason will tell you, you, you just don't see these, uh, sealed cases anymore. Yeah. Jo Joe's, uh, doesn't mention too often, but we've got buyers and we, we, we can sell this stuff off. Uh, you know, right well, listen, at the bank. end of the day, we're selling. It. I'm selling it to you. What, what I know, uh, I already got two wholesalers begging me to sell them to them. So I'm giving you guys first opportunity here. But either way, by the end of the day, they won't be here. That's right, Joe. That's exactly what I was going to say, Joe, is that we, we that these cases are already sold. Joe uh, and I were, were trying to give you a shot to buy them. So I know that not everybody has a... Eighteen thousand. I'm going to be honest. Don't lie, Jason. Don't lie. <laughs> you said, eh, let's not even run them. Let's just, and he said, Joe, just be easier for me. I'll just let's ship them out. Jason already, by the way, Jason already has them. Uh, he, Jason's like, I'll just throw them back out of the truck and we'll be done with them. And I'm like, ah, let, we're, let, let's give our customers the first opportunity. 800 951 0592. Uh, the sealed cases of 92s and 93s. One case of 92, two cases of 93s. Uh, by the way, the Dow, which was up 400 points yesterday, gold was up $23 yesterday. The Dow is now down 400 points today. Gold is given some of that. Gold's down about $13. So we're going to keep that sale. Yesterday we had 20s on sale at 21.75. We're going to hold that. Because prices had gone up again yesterday. They came back a little bit today, so we can honor that on the gold side still. Coinbase. Right, so this is the crypto exchange company. Says that effective immediately, all hiring will be paused and that they are at, listen to this, this one really sucks. They are actually rescinding accepted job offers saying that it became evident that they needed to take a more stringent measure to slow our head count and of course 
they're not slowing their head count. They're, they're actually reducing their head count. And the fact is, they actually, people that, think about this, people accepted jobs. What if these people had put in notice at another job and all of a sudden Coinbase is like, this is, this is how quickly it's coming. Cause you normally don't see where they're, re- hey, I know we told you you had a job here, but sorry, uh, that job's no longer available, Jason. It sounds like the roaring 20s of cryptocurrencies is uh, leading to, towards the, uh, <laughs> the the stock market crash of 29 in cryptocurrencies, Joe, because they've, uh, they've, they've taken it on the chin. Those cryptocurrencies took it on the chin hard the last ooh, six months yeah, or so. Not, most of them are going to zero. Most, most of them are. There will be a few survivors, I think, uh, but, but neither here nor there. Be careful. Uh, remember, if an exchange goes under, your digital wallet goes with it. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to deal in crypto or want some help in crypto, you can always call Joey uh, at 602-909-9048. But he'll tell you, too, he doesn't really uh, recommend it right now. Very, very risky. Uh, and we'll have to wait for it to shake out. How about this one, John Deere? It announced yesterday it's moving its tractor cab production from Waterloo, Iowa, to a plant in Mexico saying uh, tight labor markets and, well, really, let's face it, here's what they're saying. Uh, it's just too expensive, right? We love you, Iowa, but we got to pay you a lot more than the guys down in Mexico. Uh, John Deere saying uh, 250 people at a minimum are going to lose their jobs over this. Uh, they're saying that uh, hopefully they're going to get there by what they call attrition. In other words, they're going to pay people to quit. Uh, as this continues, Jason, I think we're going to see more and more of that as well, right? Same, same effect, right? Job losses here because, uh, you know, obviously wages are going way up, uh, power's way up, right? What, what are they going to do? They're going to find cheaper places. Yeah, I mean that's what anybody does, right, Joe? I mean everybody's got their, uh, you know, they they got their own uh, finances to take care of. Any business or any you know, home, uh, home, you know, that's what you, that's what you do. You have to get the cheapest and, and best uh, of anything when you're running the finances. And they, unfortunately, if you can't compete, you know, and, and especially with the way the system is rigged towards bigger companies and corporations, it's hard to make it. And so, yeah, I mean, I I go to Walmart once in a while because the stuff's there cheaper, right, Joe? Yeah, well, you know, I hate to say it, right? But, yeah, you you, you, you got to find what you can afford and where you can afford it at. And John Deere is essentially, you know, just this continuation of can't make it here, right? And and uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. You know, John Deere is trying to put a pause in his bit. Oh, we need the space. Yeah, we need more room. Well, if that was the case, uh, why are you laying people off, right? And obviously, I think all of us understand what's really happening. Yesterday, we talked about Jamie Dimon, right, in the last couple of days. About, uh, remember, a week ago, he said there was clouds, storm clouds, you know, out on the horizon. This week, he upped it to, oh, crap, it's a hurricane. Yesterday, after the Patriot Radio News Hour ended, we covered this on the Half Empty Cup. The head of Goldman Sachs, uh, his name's John Waldron. Uh, he's the new head at Goldman Sachs. Listen to what he said about what's happening. This is among, if not the most complex, dynamic environments I've seen in my career. The confluence of the number of shocks to the system is unprecedented. And and again, they expect to see much tougher economic times ahead. No questions. We are seeing tougher capital market environments. And again, add that to the list. This is how quick these things are changing this quickly. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. 800-951-0592. 800-951-0592. Patriot Radio News Hour. Uh, we, we've done it again here with the Silver Spectacular today. There's still a couple of rolls of those 87s at 720. 
Uh, and then those sealed cases, the 92 and the 93s at 18,000 at 800 nine five one zero five nine two just to finish with goldman because remember i had dinner last night and and both of these uh guys were telling me man business just went flat and they were you know they they used the old hand hey for two years our business just straight up and and how quickly i think is what what's happened and, and all of a sudden right the the the, the the boards are calling the the this the the CEO in the case of the the guy with the at the golf club manufacturer the CEO's on the phone you know what's happening what's going on uh, and everybody really worried think about Coinbase right because I'm sure they were they they, they had the same charts and it, it Jason it's happening so fast I think a lot of people are being caught off guard. And, and the Goldman CEO said, things are starting to roll over. CEOs across the board are seeing demand destruction and are becoming less confident. And, and I think this is kind of what we're, you know, Elon Musk today uh, at Tesla. Hey, we're going to lay off 10% of our workforce. Anybody who doesn't want to come to the office, yeah, you no longer work here. Uh, Coinbase saying, hey, not only are we freezing hiring, uh, people that we told had a job, yeah, you don't. This one, though, th th this one's it it's interesting because this is the first that I've seen. This was out of a Monday asset management. Uh, they were talking about private equity, and they were talking about these dark, less transparent parts of the market we know what these are right these are the cdos and and the the uh these derivatives he said these parts of the market that don't trade very often he says are starting to look like and i'm quoting a ponzi scheme and are going to face a day of reckoning in the coming years and, and I think this is the bank killer. This, this is kind of what I see happening when we go from the, you know, the now 4,100 banks uh, down to, who knows, it could maybe just be 40 banks as these dark pools uh, just will be come to the point that these banks can't survive, Jason. Yeah, you know what? It, we do get down to 40 banks, Joe. There, there, not, there might be more than 40 names on the buildings, though. You know what I mean? They'll, uh, you know, you know Kroger. Right, it, just we talk about. I we have King Supers here, and I forget what they're called over there in, in Arizona. They, there'll be different names on the buildings, but it'll only be four. Right, bank. yeah. For, with Kroger, we, we've got they're called Fries here, right? Uh, up where you're at, they're King Super, right? But they're 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 Kroger. It's right? all they're Kroger. Like Kroger. Yep. Right? So you, you might have your local bank's name on the building, but it ain't it ain't going to be that bank, right, Joe? And I yeah, uh, and, and I and I just see this happening, and and so. One of the things he says, it's really concerning. Banks are less and less doing their role of market making. See, this is a problem. Why do banks not want to, to make the market? Well, the answer is simple. If we make the market in this, let, let, and let's just call I don't know, commercial real estate a tranche of commercial real estate or a tranche of, of residential real estate. We don't think the market is going to price it where it needs to be. And if we make the market, that means we've got to go back into our dark our dark pools and 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 remark them. So they don't want to make the market and Jason, that is very troubling. This is exactly what happened in 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 two thousand and eight. These banks didn't want to make the market, and once the market finally got made, that's why. How did Bear Stearns go under in a matter of two weeks? This is how. Yeah, you, we finally got... someone made a market, and then realized, well, wait a minute, Bear Stearns, we got to remark all your derivatives to what the market is. You're out of business. How many stories uh, since you know some sometime mid to late 2021 and this year uh, you, you got these 
these big tycoon millionaire billionaires and, and, and the CEOs selling their stock. Michael Burry selling his stock. Uh, uh, Bill Gates selling his stock. You know, uh, uh, Tesla, Tesla owner. You know, you, you got you got uh, Elon Musk selling his stock. And then before before coronavirus, we had a record amount of CEOs retiring and, and selling their stock before that crash. Why does it feel the same things going on? And the same thing happened. The, the, when the uh, the 1919 to 2019, uh, all these CEOs were, were retiring suddenly at a record pace and, and selling their stock right before coronavirus. They broke the record of CEOs uh, retiring from the 06, 07 retirements of CEOs before the housing crash. So here we got a bunch of people getting out of the market, you know, companies not hiring now. Or, or, or I mean, the thing with Coinbase, it was crazy. Hey, we hired you, but now we didn't hire you. Uh, you know, these are all huge warnings that a, a big reckoning is happening, Joe. Something big is happening under this, and and I've been warning and warning and warning uh, uh, about what is coming. I keep, you know, I keep talking about October. I, I we, the problem is the crash happens before they realize it, and I think we're starting to see it now. And weird things in, inside of it. This is why we were, we're saying this double Great Depression. Right? Jenny O saying, hey, we may not have any stuff on the shelf. Right? How about baby formula? The out of stocks now has grown to 74%. Ten states say the out of stocks are 90% or greater. In Georgia, apparently, baby formula is 94% out of stock. What is going on? Pizza Radio News Hour, final segment coming up. Since the dot com crash in 2001, over the last 20 years, we've gone on this delirious pace of keep the Ponzi scheme going, right? You gotta, you gotta make the, the, the bubble even bigger. But now with inflation, and why it's so important? Why did I talk about baby formula? Why did I talk about Jenny O? Because here's the rather, look at Elon Musk. I'm laying off ten thousand workers, and oh by the way, I got to raise the price of all the Teslas. That's not how it works. The only the reason why we're facing this now is they flooded us with all of this debt. And this time around, I think the best case scenario is once we're in it, the Fed stops raising rates, their ability to print the money to try to get us out, that's what's, that's what's disappeared this time. Because at that point, what are they just going to do? We're going to be, are we going to be like Turkey with 73% inflation, right? The, 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 the Federal Reserve has put us in this horrible place, and I've been saying it all along, the solution to this is get rid of the central bank and get the size of government back under control. Unfortunately, it looks like the opposite's going to play out, and we're going to get this digital currency, and these banks are going to be more powerful than ever, Jason. Yeah, I when is the last time government shrank? I mean, I don't, I don't really remember it ever shrinking in the, in the the decades past. I mean, it's, it's always add a new agency and hire more. I mean, we just re reported the IRS. Oh, hey, eighty-seven thousand more employees. That that's not shrinking. Joe. Well, hey, you know what? Great point. Uh, they did. By the way, in that in that uh, jobs number today, the government hired another fifty-seven thousand people. Everyone's going to be the government. I mean, there's not going to be any non-government jobs. We're, we're going straight to, uh, I guess, communism, Joe. That's, I mean, that's in communism, everyone works for the government, right? Well, I, and uh, yeah, right, well, that, isn't that the truth? And, and my my big worry here is this huge increase within the IRS. There's something uh, it, it's coming. And, and I have, the, the, and again, just the way they wrote the laws of too big to fail and sitting there and, and if you have more money than you need, the IRS is going to tell you how much of it you can have and then the rest of it uh, we'll use to give you treasuries that you can't sell. It's fun, I get that feeling. 
I know, it's been a a crazy short week. Uh, Sealed cases of 92, 93 Silver Eagles still available at 18,000.